Let us know what Good you Good morning, everyone. Frank Halverson again for our sports show. You know, it's been a couple of weeks since I was here last when I made my league predictions. And the first week for the Mother Load League was pretty tough. It hasn't gotten much better than that. Matter of fact, you know, if you look at the makeup of the Mother Load League, there's four counties that make up this league. There's one counties that more have more wins than any other t county combined in the league. Somerville's leading the top. They're 3-0. and Bryce Farrell has had a wonderful start of the year. He's been throwing the ball all over the yard. Next is Sonora. We talked about them, the big dog, the new members of the Mother Load League. They've played a tough schedule. They lost their first game against Oakdale, but they've come back and beat two really good teams, Division I Lodi, and then keep back and beat Hillmore last week. So they're 2-1. and one. Bret Hart, they are the only team in the Mother Load League that have one more win. They're 1-2, and two, but they played right a passage the first week, so nobody should get too excited in that. Other than that, we got 0-3 everywhere. Calaveras is 0-3. Amador's 0-3, Argonauts 0-3, Linden's 0-3. Not a good start. Now granted, Calaveras has played a very difficult schedule, and they're having a lot of success with Connor Hamilton. He's got over 500 yards already this year on the ground, so he's having a lot of success there. The problem with all three of those teams that I just talked about, Calaveras, Amador, and Argonaut, they have given up a combined 370 points in three games. Calaveras has given up over 145 points. Amador and Argonaut have both given up over 100 points. The old saying, defense wins championships? Well, let me tell you, we need to find some in a hurry because right now they can't do it. And it seems to all these teams, when they play somebody that can throw the ball around the yard a little bit, they're really having a difficult time defending. Now, that being said, I think things are going to change a little bit this week. Matter of fact, I'm going to make a prediction that every team in the Mother Load League wins this week. The competition is a little bit down for where they started out at the beginning of the year, and I think everybody gets a home win this week. Somerville, they play at Houston, 3-0 and Houston. That's probably the toughest matchup uh, this week, but I still think they pull out a win. Sonora's going to be at Ripon. Um, I think they pull it out. Bret Hart is playing some small private school in Livermore. They get a win. Amador, that's the game we're doing this week, and I'm excited to go over and see Amador play because we haven't had the opportunity to do that so far this year. They play a 1-2 and two Calusa team, and that'll be this Friday night, and I expect them to get their first win. Amador, or Argonaut, excuse me, they travel to Denaire. Uh, Denaire has had a tough start so far. They're 1-1. One and one. They really haven't played anybody. If Argonaut if the coaches can help them out at all, they need to give a coach's job is to put a team in the best possible situation to succeed. And these last three, three weeks for the Mustangs, I don't think they've done that. Very poor play calling at the end of the halves and very poor clock management has put up three scores. It's almost been a repeat three weeks in a row where the opposition has scored a late touchdown in the first half to send the Mustangs in down by two instead of one. They need to clean that up. They need to change their play call a little bit, and they need to do a better job at managing uh, that clock, okay? Um, and Linden, they play an 0-3 team this week. I think they get their first win. So all in all, Mother Load League comes away with a win, and that takes us right into league. And so I won't be back until after we've played our first game. And you talk about the frying pan to the fire, especially for Amador and Argonaut. Argonaut goes in the road against the big dogs, Sonora. And Amador get Somerville at home. Those are the two top teams in the league right now. They're put, like I said, they're both putting up a lot of points. But uh, it's really exciting to start league, and we're going to be at that Amador-Somerville game. So this week, we're at Amador against Calusa. Uh, for the first time to see Amador, I'm excited about seeing Coach Bill Baker's team and how they can get things put together, get on a winning track starting Friday night and going into league action the following week. So if you, if you look at the total schedule so far, uh, Connor Hamilton, he, you know, you look at 523 yards for, for Calaveras so far on the ground. However, he had 287 of those in the first week. So he's been slowed down a little bit. The problem when you look, now you have to remember all these teams do not report their stats. So it's hard for me to get all the stats. Calaveras is one of them that does, so I could take a look at that. I can go to some of the opposition and see what they've done with Amador. The problem for both of those teams right now is they're turning the ball over too much. You've got to take care of the football. They're again going back to the number of points that they've given up to start this season. Calaveras is averaging 
45 points against per game. You are not going to win many football games, no matter how many rushing yards you get, because the clock's going to run out on you. So they really need to shore that up. I want to remind everybody of one thing. Frank H. at TSPNTV.com. Send me an email. Send me a question, and I'll tell you what. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take all the emails that I get between now and the next show, and I'm going to offer a $25 gift certificate to Jose's. I'm going to pick one out, and we're going to answer it right here on the air. So don't forget, Frank H. at TSPNTV.com. Send me your questions. Send me your comments. I want to talk to you and watch for us this Friday night, Amador against Calusa. I think that's it. We'll see. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. LNS.